I got the smartest clients, others to it. Let me tell you this interesting alternative to uh, Roth conversions from a man here. If I can find it, if I can find it, let me find it. I'm finding There it is. My man, Lewis. All right, we'll call him uh, Louie Louie. Hmm. Louie Louie. Stewie Louie. Fooey Louie. We'll call him Louie. He says, uh, I'm now 59 and a half with a falling projection for wealth in my uh, right capital. Uh, it's a lot of wealth, let's put it that way. And uh, it'll be 79% will be tax free. It's looking like all the money I can get in my Roth is simply passed to the kids, which they will need to withdraw within 10 years. I like the way you're thinking, Lewis. Yes, sir. Though we may need, we, we, well, though we may use some of this to pay for big uh, one-off events like weddings, helping with home purchases, and etc. Both kids are in their 20s, just starting careers and starting to build savings. Is there any downsides? to withdraw 7,000 per year per child from my Roth to fund their Roth IRAs. This assumes they make more than 7,000 a year, of course, whatever the income limits, I can't remember what they are. This gets a few more dollars into the Roth rather than ending up in a taxable accounts and shows them uh, to more quickly build their own net worth, or own short term, uh, own net worth as well. Hmm, that is a great suggestion. Now, obviously you don't control the Roth, all right? So if you, I told them the downside with Frank would be, is that you no longer control the money, but to avoid the ten-year, the ten-year rule where you have to do Roth, where you got to take the whole thing out within ten years, the kids get the Roth. I, I mean, think about it. Your kids are going to get the Roth. Here's Chloe. Chloe you want to say out of the camera? Huh? There's Chloe. So Hi. Chloe, how old are you, Chloe? Twenty. Do you do you work? Yes. All right. So Chloe works. What if I took my money out of my Roth, seven thousand a year, and put it to Chloe's Roth? I will never do that because Chloe doesn't deserve it, right, Chloe? Okay, if you want, if you want <laughs> so I fund Chloe's Roth. She's 20 years old. So when I die, if I didn't do that, she gets all my money. You know, assuming Charlotte dies for me, which is stupid to assume that because you know men die before the women do because the women kill us off because of life insurance. But anyway, so Charles says, oh, you're worth a hell of a lot more dead than alive there, old honey of mine. Uh, we've been married 24 years and nine months. Uh, let's see if you last 25 years, if you know what I'm saying. But let's see if Charlotte, uh, let's see, I die. I leave it to Charlotte, which is a good estate planning. Charlotte gets it, but then when Charlotte dies, she leaves it to Chloe and the other three crumb crunchers. They got to take the whole thing out within 10 years. Yeah, it's still tax-free, but they got to exhaust it by then. What if they were to put it in a Roth? That's a freaking great idea, Lewis. You can freaking... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. A mess. A knucklehead. Sure, I'll just cut it too. There we go. It's still a mess. All right. Anyway, so what if they... Uh, then you say, Chloe gets my Roth. You know, I'm 53. She gets it 20 years. She gets another 33 years of growth on that thing tax-free. I would even say, Lewis, along those lines, you can start taking money out of your... That, so that's when him talk about Roth. He takes money out of Roth. Instead of leaving it to my kids, he starts giving it to his kids. I, in terms of saying, hey, I'm going to fund a Roth. You don't control it. That's the one drawback. So Chloe would have to be disciplined enough not to take her money out of the Roth. That would be, you know, be a challenge. But still, if you can say, look, man, this money could grow, grow, grow. Just don't touch it. Crazy. All right, part two of this. What if you just took it out from your IRA? Instead of doing Roth conversions. Just start freaking, you pay the tax on $7,000, start funding Chloe's IRA. And you guys should do that too, by the way. You should start funding Chloe's IRA, not me. Why do I want to do that for you? You guys should. I mean, you just pay that little bit of tax now. You get to a Roth for your daughter or son to grow, grow, grow. Your grandkid, grow, grow, grow. Tax-free. doesn't have to be exhausted within 10 years of your death. I do have the smartest audience there is. Love your thoughts. God bless. We'll see you.